hands. Look at my hands. This is definitely not a dream. And I'm starting to doubt the others were dreams too. Hello and very warm welcome everyone to another chapter of this awesome game series which is Call of the Sea. We are on chapter 5 and this is again, it's gonna be 100% walk through with all the noodles and of course the secret object. It's hard to explain what I feel but it isn't fear. Not a bit. First thing here, while gates, in the underwater. Like the one I saw in the temple. So if you're watching this video for the first time, I'm going to be summarizing or recapping the previous episodes for what has happened up till now. So the basic premise of this story is like that. This woman, our main character, Nora, it's is suffering some kind of unique illness and her husband went on an expedition to find a cure for the illness. One of them. And uh, in that expedition, most of the crew members have already died and he is somewhat lost. So. This woman sets up a journey to find her husband and in that journey she discovers something very supernatural or mystical like you can see her hands have been changed already in, in like a fist creature. So Another panel of yeah, this for this puzzle I'm going to technology. tell you that you need to What's change the flow of the current. Something now you have, the when you press the button there's going to be liquid flowing inside so you have to time it properly because this liquid will take some time to reach while the liquid on this side will take less time to reach. So all you have to do is use to in intersect both the liquids so that the pressure or the flow of the current changes to the opposite side. We'll be doing this, uh, we'll be using this mechanism in uh, like most of the puzzles on this chapter. So I'll be briefing down there. So where, where was I? I think we, uh, I was explaining that yeah, she, she on a journey to find her husband, which uh, basically went on to save the her from the illness she's suffering from. Currents. And uh, her husband got lost, and now she's also lost, but she's determined to find her, find her husband. And in that, this is the basic premise of the story. In, in between, there are lots of puzzles, there are lots of uh, supernatural activities, and uh, it's basically a, architecture again. a game that shifts between sometimes horror, uh, and psychological fantasy puzzle game. Now when you reach this section, this section is the section where the main puzzle place. starts. We're going to interact with all the symbols. Who made these marks? These symbols are Look necessary. Old. And we're going to interact, like, since this is a 100% walkthrough, so we're going to interact with every item and every uh, mystical we thing. We Slaves and masters and Nicall. Wasn't Nicall in the notes? Looks like some sort of food. It's not human food though, and it's fossilized too. So what is the premise here is basically there's there are actually five communities and they have five symbols representing each community. Whoever they interact with these runals to you know get the mural objective complete there will be true murals uh, in this Someone area vandalize this mural some hands look human but others are amphibian hands so as i said there are going to be five communities and uh, each community will have a unique symbol attached to them so first one was like white lines now this is the red hands i will call them it's red hands disturbing to see someone's hand paintings from thousands of years ago i feel connected to them somehow Fire falls from the sky awakens God black blood so whenever you reach uh, the is hut or blood? the Does house of the community member there will be a black ooze whenever you interact what with that black ooze you will Blood's have some kind blood, of flashback transformation eternal life I feel like I'm going through what was and also each community will have a unique switch this is the yellow hands. I'll call them this yellow hands. This reminds me of some prehistoric cave paintings. Like in the Cueva de las Manos in South America. Black blood in eyes, like in the well. So, five communities, five symbols, and five switches. The basic premise of this puzzle is that you need to press those switches in order 
to lower the water level. Look at this graphics, look at this setting. I love this game, man. This is the switch for this community. We'll call them White Hands, and we now we are Some on the fifth, uh, fourth, sorry, fourth community. Painting. Looks really primitive. So there's gonna be Black Ooze somewhere for this uh, communal I tribe. Wonder who used to there live it is. here. It seems it was abandoned ages ago. We we so every Black Ooze. I understood that. Uh, representing each community ha gives you some kind of flashback so I think this is gonna be the last one this I think I will call this a purple spiral and there are gonna be two interactions here now? one this one is that what I am now the inhabitants of this village lived at different altitudes. And Some even lived inside the water. They used this sort of dam to lower or raise the water level. This is the another one. It seems that each family had to agree somehow to change the water level. I'm amazed at how organized they seem to be, despite them being so primitive. Being trapped here probably made them stronger as a community. Five symbols, five community, and five switches. Only thing now we need to get to the. Uh, I think we need to interact with something to get the uh, exact order that need that we need to press the switches in. So we'll go all the way down now through this black ooze area. You can see the reflections of black ooze here, or maybe it's water. I might be wrong. <laughs> so. When you come, you'll see this pillar. The first symbol you'll see will be the yellow hands. So we'll interact with it. There are some hand marks made with pigments. I wonder if they mean something. This is white hand I'll mark. Draw them just in case. And this is the white lines. I'll just call them white lines. This one is the red hands. And I think I forgot the purple spiral, which is will be here. Yeah. So when you interact with all these symbols, it will give you a definite order uh, as to which symbol switch needs to be pressed first so the order is white hands yellow hands and i if i remember white yellow red and then white yellow yellow, and then the white lines and the purple spiral is the last one so we'll interact with the white hand first because that's the first symbol in the first order There you go white hands first switch okay now you move to the yellow hand which is i think the top most which is on the top most level i'm not going to cut this section out because this is the puzzle section only the irrelevant sections are needed to be cut in order to make the video not super long so that you guys don't get bored so it's white hand, yellow hand, red hand, and white lines, and the purple spiral. This is the exact order that you need to press the switches. So we'll press the switch for the yellow hands now. There you go. And now we're going to press the switch for the red hand symbol. So these were the basic, uh, basically these were the communities living in whatever this timeline is i don't know but there you go the red hand symbol they were basically called slaves of some kind of godly creatures now the fourth symbol is the white lines like this i call them white lines basically they are not white lines i i'm sorry for that but <laughs> it's just i call them like that Okay, so last symbol is the purple spiral, which is 
ex uh, which represents the main switch as well which uh, is used to uh, which is used for lowering down the water level here so when you come down this side just press this switch this is the main switch which will make those spillers go down this will basically not lower the water level but it will give you an extra switch to lower the water level there you go now we need to go all the way down where we interacted with the symbols to get the order to press the first switch because that is the only switch which will be accessible for you again i'm not going to be cutting this section because i want to show you the path to reach there like if you're doing this playing this game for the first time the puzzles in this game are kind of very really complicated but i felt that the chapter 3 and chapter 4 puzzles was the uh, i think it was mostly the hardest one this one was uh, okay not it was uh, i wouldn't say it was very complicated but yeah it was definitely good interesting puzzle i would say that the previous two chapters were very frustrating puzzles like took me a lot of time this civilization used these devices to raise and lower the water level it's impressive. So when the water level is raised down or you'll get a new path and this path is basically when you press the button you will be you'll be becoming new creature and you will be going underwater again. That's why I like this chapter a lot because it has some different unique and also yeah when in this area this is the most important area because this is the area which is going to give you the secret object location okay so first thing first we're going to come here there are going to be two pillars of basically some kind of gods or demons whatever they are because they these pillars i'm talking about you have to interact with them and now we're going to go and i'm going to go and show you guys the this secret like object location which will be around figures. here i can hear them she moves Talking kind of she me. swims kind of slow she moves kind of slow this is the secret object Isn't that we're looking for in this chapter from, uh, wait i i can't remember the name of my hometown she doesn't remember anything uh, maybe because she has become some different creature maybe and she's also not uh, referring anything to her husband harry so there's gonna be two more murals here we're gonna interact with them Okay. They yeah, rebelled there. against their masters. The slaves seem to worship two gods. One is over there. First, we're gonna interact with the mural. Then, uh, okay, I'll tell you what you have to do in this location. This is the third puzzle, and it's tricky, but it's not that very complicated. All you need to do is you need to diverge the flow of the Different water. Types of creatures of the same species lived here. But they weren't free or the pressure of the water there are going to be two pillars which you need to diverge the flow or the pressure of the water you can see one is this one and there's going to be switches on those pillars like this first we're going to change the flow of the water for this one all you need to do is just uh, use the turn this mechanism okay and use the same technique that we used in the first one make the liquids flow time them in such a manner that both side liquids meet in the center As soon as they will meet, they will rise up and they will change the flow of the pressure of this water. So, there's going to be second main pillar, which was the topmost pillar over there. That pillar is also going to have the same switch. We're going to do the same thing this over there as well. Town is a beautiful place, but it has also seen a lot of suffering. All the island is that way, beautiful but dangerous. The danger Again? does not seem to affect me, though. Turn this. Press the right one and then time it so that both the liquids meet in the center. Because if you not time it and if one liquid flows to the center and the other one does not, it's going to revert back. There you go. Everything done. Now there's going to be one switch here in this pillar or the object or whatever. Just turn a switch. To press the switch. And there's gonna be one secret door opening. You just have to cross through this. You don't have to do anything over here. You will be taken automatically because of the pressure of the door. This is some kind of magic. <laughs> I made it. So 
once you are here you need to travel up this is one of the most uh, I mean crazy and beautiful and gorgeous looking things here I love this chapter my illness has kept me from being happy what I feel now is the complete opposite of being sick I feel full of life and energy even better than before my illness You're in the same area, but you're on the other side of the switch, which is which, uh, you remember the, there were two pillars. So you are on the second pillar. Now you're going to press the switch, which will further raise down the level of the water. And a tunnel will open for you or a cave, you can say. Now the water level is really low, so I can access that tunnel. Tunnel. To be precise. She shares tunnel, so it's definitely tunnel. So when she was uh, being that fish creature, she al almost forgot about her husband. She forgot about her disease. So this is something a mystery. Maybe she is a fish creature, or maybe these creatures lived like slaves, all their lives imprisoned and tortured in this place. Was it possible to live a decent life in here? If you've lived all your life in a prison. How would you know that you are a prisoner? Wow, what a dialogue. If you have lived all your life in a prison, how would you know that you are a prisoner? Excellent line, excellent quote there. So yeah, there's some kind of mystery. I really want to see what the ending is going to be. I know it's going to be really a uh, great ending, like maybe a twist. I don't know if there's going to be like more than one ending. Still haven't figured out that yet. But now I can enter this tunnel. Yeah, so we're gonna enter the tunnel and we don't know where it's gonna be taking us. I already know because I played once. So we all, once we'll do all this kind of puzzles, there's gonna be, uh, it go, it's gonna be uh, marked in your journal. Once again, I think we'll probably be going underwater. You're looking at these exotic locations. Like, it does give you a feeling of claustrophobia, but look how gorgeous it is. So one more switch, same thing. I told you you have to use this mechanism more than once and it's easy but in the end it's gonna be complicated. So we'll flow with the current, we'll flow with the pressure of the water. This current is quite strong. I wonder where it will take me. Again, you don't have to do anything. The game will make you flow with the water, flow with the current. And this is gonna be an awesome journey. Look at this. Look at the visuals here. She's having a time. So, like, she doesn't, seems like she's ill. She's having the blast of her life. Maybe this is somehow related to the twist in the end of the story. I don't know. So, you see that there's gonna be one monster like creature here. And what is the reference? I still don't know because I haven't played uh, next chapter in the game yet. I'm playing, I'm replaying this just to show you guys how beautiful, crazy this game is. <laughs> It's good that I bought this game because I really wanted to support for making this awesome that beautiful was quite game. A ride, but it's over now. So we'll be taken back to the land again. This is probably the last section of the puzzle of this chapter. That ladder. Someone set up camp in here. There are going to be last two mirrors. Looks like a means of transportation to get to that sanctuary. It's 
seems to show two possible courses of action. One means transformation, and the other means... death? Once you've interacted with both the mules, we're gonna go and take this stairs or climbing rope stairs. <laughs> This, 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 oh my god, did I almost forget about Harry? Now she remembers that she's looking for her husband. My dear old pal, it's only Cass and me now. I have much to thank her for, even if our friendship is worn thin due to hunger and fatigue. If she hadn't insisted so much, we'd never have convinced Teharoa. He guided us as we followed the river down from the mountain peak. And that's how we found this entrance. And the mural. Maybe I can't undo what's happening to you, Nora, but I think I can try to become like you. The original inhabitants of this island took slaves to a sanctuary. And there, they performed a ritual. Teaharoa said the ritual was madness, and he didn't want any part of it. He and Cass argued, violently. When we woke up the next morning, he had left. I know it sounds strange, but you have to trust me, my love. I know this is going to work, and we can be together. You understand what that means, don't you, Nora? I have... We have a second chance. With more love than ever, Harry. Harry? What? What ritual are you talking about? Why on earth would you want to become like me? Please don't be a fool. You don't even know if that ritual of yours is going to work. These symbols Somebody are related to the puzzle. symbols on the wall. But I'm going to tell you a very easy you method. You followed the river from the temple summit, and it took you some days to find this entrance. Which basically has no reference to the symbols. Very easy method. I'm going to tell you a very easy method to solve the last interacting puzzle. It's a complex one, but once it's you get the idea, right. you will do it easily. Harry, was that where you went? So, I want to summarize what happens here. Here's oh Harry oh, and her friend. I forgot I'm the name. Too. I think it's uh, Kasa. Cass. Those two members of the expedition are only the members so the that survived up till now. We knew that Frank died that in the previous the chapter, on the white and their beach. guide also well, left right. because of the fear of the ritual, some kind of, uh, you know, dangerous ritual. So, and Harry has been talking about to change himself to what this, uh, what her she wife looks like. She doesn't seem to care much about Harry, and she doesn't seem to be thinking straight either. Harry, that look on your face. You look deranged. They seem to loathe each other. So you can see that Harry's characteristics has also been changing and they are kind of having quarrel the between each other. Setting. The Harry and the cast, so the last beautiful. expedition members. So we don't know what's uh, gonna happen in the next chapter. Is it going to be a sad thing or a happy thing? We still don't know. But something is bad about to happen I, it gives me a feeling so we are about to get to the last section of the puzzle this is a tricky one uh, as i told you guys you don't need that uh, uh, diagram which you found the picture in order to uh, you know solve this puzzle i'm gonna set, tell you a very easy method uh, let's see. i wrote it down actually <laughs> what you have to do is uh, let me just reach there I'm, gonna, I'm so excited that i was about to tell you before i was gonna reach to the puzzle we'll have the same mechanism that we have been using up till now but it will be a bit more complex instead of two symbols there are going to be four symbols and their routes will be different the flow of the speed of the liquid inside will be different this for each one of them different from the others. It's much more than that. so this is how it looks as you can already see that the symbol on the left has a one straight line so this will take the least yeah, uh, first let me see. These are the symbols. These are the diagram. They're referencing to solve the puzzle, but 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to use it. I'll tell you how I solve this puzzle for myself. It's a very easy one. Now if you look at the four symbols, we see the top one has the longest root, the right one has the second longest root, the bottom one has the third longest, and the one on the left has the smallest root. So basically what we're gonna do is, we're gonna, as we're gonna press the symbols, we'll start from the top one, then go for the right one, go for the bottom one, and we're gonna go for the left one. We're gonna time it in a manner like we'll as soon as we type we're gonna call for first symbol when we're gonna press we're gonna call one two three for second one it will be one two three four five for the third symbol it will be four two three four five six and as you can count to six we're gonna press the fourth symbol as you have already seen if you if you are not able to time it properly these things are not gonna work it's gonna get reset so we're gonna try it now I'm gonna, let's see this if you time it properly see what happens basically it's resets there you go nothing happens now you're gonna press the symbols and do the counting in this order one two three one two three four five one two three four five six And there you go. The first symbol is one, two, three. Second symbol one, two, three, four, five. Third symbol one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the way I did it. You can use the mechanism of the diagram that you found on the picture, but uh, I just timed it. You know, it's just about the timing. So the puzzles are like you can do your way. So this chapter is probably ending. And we'll be moving to the next chapter. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you like it. Thank you so much, guys.